Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Good. Uh, so today we have a very important topic to talk. So I want you to concentrate on the lecture today. I, I guarantee you, if you understand the, the topic we are talking today, I'm sure you will have a good score in your midterm exam. So, uh, but before, again, before we get started to the new materials, I want you to work with me together uh, to know that um, what's, what is this, what's the, the meaning of system and what's the overall process, individual unit and the combination unit. Okay, so uh, here that I want to ask you about this. If I ask you that this is an overall balance and this is a system, so please tell me how many input and how many outputs in this system, in this overall system. You know, when we talk about overall, that means it's this, right? This is overall. And this is single unit system, single unit system, single unit system. And this is called combi combination unit system, right? And this is called overall system. So how many input and how many outputs in this overall system? Okay, this is the this is the things you need to know. Okay, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you. So, so today we are going to talk about liquid liquid extraction, and this is also called solvent extraction. So, what is solvent extraction? This is an example uh, which is very important. So, um, as in the example four point four dash two, extraction distillation process. So, these are this process has two units, two operation units. The first unit is called extraction. The second unit is called distillation. Okay, and so this process is, is for the purposes of separation of the water and the acetone. So if we, if we have a mixture of water and acetone, what happens? And you want to separate this water and acetone. How can you do that? And first of all, I think you know that last week we learned distillation. Distillation is the, pr is the process in which you, you separate two liquids by different boiling points. Okay, so let's think of water. The boiling point is 100 Celsius. And acetone, which is a type of solvent, is an organic solvent. It's colorless, mobile, flammable, liquid, solvent, miscible with water. So you can... This acetone can soak in the water, and the boiling point is uh, uh, boiling point is about five, uh, fifty six point five three Celsius, and the molecular structure looks like this. Okay, and then this is a type of solvent, and it's there's no color, so you cannot distinguish water and acetone by eyes. Of course, if you smell it. You know the different this water and acetone has different smell. But when you mix it together, it looks like this. It's all transparent. So if, how how do you separate this? One of the things we learned is called distillation. Okay, so because of the boiling the different boiling the different boiling points, so you think, wow, I might be able to separate this two substances by distillation process. But unfortunately, that, that the boiling point is too low. These two boiling points, and uh, also these two boiling points are too close. So can we do distillation color? Uh, then can we do the distillation? The answer is not. Why? Because vapor, vapor pressure will, um, boiling point is too low and too close. So you might have trouble to separate completely very well. Yes, please. Please say. Don't ask. This this can can wait. Wait a minute. Then ask. I I just said. 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 And that will be very good for you to 
Now uh, that would be very good for you to uh, to have your midterm exam. Okay. So. So if you understand the lecture I'm going to tell you today, and then I guarantee you you will have a good score in your midterm exam. 要用用要用中文再讲一次吗？不用了哈。Okay, good. So. So the reason is that we use liquid liquid attraction. Why is liquid liquid why is liquid liquid attraction? You know, acetone and water cannot separate, and then. If we introduce another object, another substance into this mixture, and then, for example, like MiBK, MiBK is one of the materials which has a high boiling point. And if I put MiBK into the, this mixture, and then MiBK looks like this. MiBK. Okay, this is water. This is acetone. So acetone and water they mix it well, very well together. So I introduce another material called MiBK into this mixture, and if if I can take out acetone away from water, was then it pass when was then it wonderful? It is wonderful, right? So. This is called liquid liquid attraction because this is liquid. This these two are liquid and these two are miscible. This one and this one is immiscible. So the important thing is that if you use liquid liquid attraction first to take out this, to take away to take this away from water, and then because the boiling point is very different. Between the MiBK and, and the acetone, so you can separate these two. You can separate these two, because 116 and five, uh, 56 Celsius. You can use distillation to take out to separate these two materials. Okay, so this is called liquid liquid attraction, and uh, and you know once we we solve one problem, but we have another problem because MiBK and, and acetone mix together. So you have to separate these two, also, right? So this is called distillation. We use distillation for this separation. Okay. So this is called liquid liquid attraction together with distillation by this system. So MIB MIBK is kind of solvent. Okay. The full name is methylene isobutylene uh, ketone. It looks like this, okay. So it's a flammable again. It's colorless liquid with present amor ama, okay. It kind of smell. And uh, this is MIB. This, this important sentence: MIBK has quite low solubility with water, but it's miscible with most organic solvents, making it useful for liquid liquid extraction. So MIBK is a good solvent. For liquid liquid attraction, because the MIBK cannot is has a low solubility in water, but MIBK has a good solubility with acetone. Okay, so what are we going to use MIBK for? A apart from liquid 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 attraction, so why do they use it in, as a solvent for nitrocellulose, lacquers, and uh, certain polymer and the resins? So, so, uh, so liquid liquid attraction is a method to separate compounds based on the their relative solubilities in two different miscible liquids, usually water and the organic solvent. Okay, so it is extraction of a substance from one liquid phase into another liquid phase. So you might you might have you might have no idea what's going on with this. But for solvent extraction is used for nuclear reprocessing, oral processing, and the production of the fine organic compounds, the processing of, of the perfume and other industries. Okay. So liquid liquid extraction is 
uh, kind of uh, methods you can do you can use for a, a lot of applications like caffeine extraction from teas okay and you know caffeine you know you know you don't like caffeine right caffeine you can take it out from uh, by uh, from the tea using uh, liquid liquid extraction okay so before we go to the uh, topic uh, so let's uh, work together on this example and I hope it will be easier for you to understand so let's get started so a mixture contains 50 weight percent acetone and 50 percent water is to be separated into two streams this is a typical separation process right so one reach in acetone and another in water okay so the separation process consists of extraction of the acetone from the water into MIBK or we call M for short right which has a much higher affinity for acetone than it does for water so MIBK like acetone MIBK doesn't like water right so the process is shown schematically before uh, below sorry right so uh, what I want to tell you is that please work with me on this, this slide so if we have a mixture a mixer here so we have a mixture which is fit 50% uh, water 50% acetone and then we have and we put MIBK into this mixer of course in the video you know that these three has to mix together very well and in a, in a chemistry laboratory you shake it right you shake it by your hand but this is industrial process you don't have it's, it's one tons of this liquids you cannot shake so what can you do you stir right you mix it whatever you just need to think of it in industrial process not laboratory process this is the difference between science and engineering okay okay anyway and once you do the well mix you don't want to waste your time you want to do the next process so you move this mix you move the liquid to a settler and to wait you know in a video you need to wait for a while in order to have a separation right two layer separation and but in the industry industrial scale you cannot wait because time is money so you move this to another tank which we call settler and settler will separate these two layers the oil oils face and the water face okay and then you remove the extract extract which is MIBK and acetone right so on the top layer you have water we call refinate and refinate is about uh, water and acetone you might ask professor why why don't we just do it hundred percent with this process why we still have some water and acetone as I told you time is money because you might have no much time for this to wait okay and also because of the efficiency of this separation you you it's better to have a second unit of this process rather than you want to do this in one go so the revenue one you feed into another mixer because you have you cannot separate the water and acetone completely okay and then you put the MIBK in it again so this time again you have a set you have a settler and wait for a while to make face face separation which is one is oil face one is the liquid, uh, water face and again you have a extract extractor two which is mostly MIBK and some you know MIBK will be men and you have some acetone also but you will have some water because sometimes you cannot separate you cannot do the separation 100 percent but maybe 99 percent or 95 percent will be enough right okay so and then you take out the roughening which is number two and here 
as we know that in the in the text they tell us that there will be 91 91 not, sorry 93 one sorry 93.1 percent water and some MIB can acetone and if you are not happy with this number you can have the third you can have a third set right the third set of a mixture and etc and if you're not happy again you might have the fourth set fifth set right and sixth set and until you are happy okay but anyway in this case we just give you an example of two sets so now and then you now in this case you have very already have water which is maybe good enough already for this case and for this MIBK and, and acetone you need to put it together and make it go into the distillation column and this combined extract ex, ex, extract extracts is mo mostly acetone in MIBK and some a little bit water only so regardless of water so the main separation the separation of this process is for acetone and MIBK so you have top stream which is a product acetone because the boiling point is low so you have you have this product in the upper stream right so upper stream is 97 percent acetone 2 percent MIBK 1 percent water so if this is accepted this is pure enough the purity is 97 percent acetone and the bottom the bottom stream is called recovered solvent which is mostly MIBK and some of the acetone and water so this is the process so in your making exam I will I will give you this I will give you um, I will give you this picture uh, this uh, figures okay I'll give you these figures so you don't need to remember these figures but you need to uh, put the numbers into these figures okay however in order to simplify this question uh, this example tells us that we can make this two unit into one because this is only one stream come to this unit settler so the, we make it into we make this two unit into one to make it simple to make it easier for you okay so as a result you will have one single unit system two unit single system three unit three unit single system and uh, four single unit system okay okay so let's make it like this extractor one extractor two and distillation column that's why we call liquid liquid extraction and the distillation process and where do you see this picture this picture will be uh, these figures will be in your page 80 98 page 89 okay page 89 I'm, I'm I think you do you have this in your in the PDF file no you don't no you don't so uh, please remember this this is important All right so the mixer and the settler extractor so how many systems but before we go to this and let's go to uh, let's move to the next um, please work with me again and we go we continue to talk about this process page 98 you know I I just skip the uh, okay let me let me read this with you together you have your uh, yes your, P your PDF file is the last paragraph here so let's work it 
Let's work on this together, okay? The last paragraph. So the acetone solute and water dilute mixtures mixture is firstly contact with the MIBK in the uh, in the mixer that provides a good contact between the two liquid phases. Okay, a portion of uh, the acetone in the feed transfers from the aqueous phase to the organic phase. In this step, the mixture passes into a settling tank where the phases separate and uh, are separately withdrawn. This phase reach in the di dilutant, diluent. Okay. Here is the water in the in this process. It refers to as the raffinate, and the phase reach in the solvent is the ext extract. The mix the mixer settler combine is the first stage of this separation process. Okay, so the second paragraph, the raffinate. The roughly passes to a second extraction stage where it is contacted with the second streams of pure MIBK, leading to the transfer of more acetone. The two phases are allowed to separate in a second settler, and the roughly from this stage is set, it, is set to a waste treatment operation. Okay, this extract from the rich in acetone and uh, is is the process product. The button effluent is rich in MIBK and uh, is a real process would be treated further and uh, recycled back to the first extraction state. But we will not consider recycle in this state in this example. Right. Okay. So in the sec in the third pa in the third paragraph, which is very important, and I might change some numbers here in your midterm exam. Okay, so please work with me. A pilot plant study, you know, a pilot plant is is, is a small scale; it's not a really industrial scale. So a pilot plant study for every one hundred kilograms of acetone water fed to the first extraction stage, one hundred. As I know, as I told you, that one hundred. Sorry, uh, this is one hundred. Uh, there's no one hundred there. Okay. Right. So um. So I think let's stop here first, and I want to let you know how many uh systems in this process. Right, pay, please work with me on this slide. So how many systems for the individual here? Can you tell me? How many systems, individual units? One, two, three, four, right? Right? So there are four individual units. So how many two units process uh, systems? How many two unit system? One, right? Two. This and this, right? Okay. How about this? Three. This and this, right? How about this? This and this, four. So there are four, two combination units system. Are you with me so far? Yes, you do, right? Okay, so how many three combination unit system? Three combination unit system, how many? One, two, three, right? Okay, I don't want to, let's do it again, one, Right? Two. Three. Right? Okay. And then 
So you, how many over process? Only one. So if I ask you, what's the, how many input and output in this system? Could you please tell me? How many input and output in this system? Because you need to you you need to do calculation input and output. How many input and output in this system? This three combination unit system, right? How many? How many input and how many output? Please tell me. Three input and three output, right? So three input, one, two, and three. Output is one, two, three. Three input and three output. Okay? And please tell me how many overall, how many input and output in the overall process system? This is overall, right? Overall. So three and three, right? Three and three. Okay? This is important. After, in your midterm exam, you need to do this. If you don't know how many input and how many output, you are out of the game. Okay, because I'm, I'm sure you don't do good, you, you cannot get the right answer. Right, so this is important. And then now let's read the text. Uh, let's read the text in the last paragraphs, important text. And then please, in your mid in turn exam, draw this picture and then put the numbers in this and you can get some points, okay? Right, so please work with me the third paragraph. A pilot plan study every 100 kilograms of the acetone water fed to the first extra extraction stage. Okay, so let's write down in this slide. We know that in the feed, there are 50% acetone and 50% water. And total, how many? 100, 100 kilogram, right? 100 kilogram. Okay, the first sentence. In the end of first sentence, 100 kilograms of the MIBK is fed to the first stage. And the 75 kilograms is fed to the second stage. So we know that MIBK in the first stage, we feed 100 kilograms MIBK. And in the second stage, we feed, we feed 700, uh, sorry, 75 kilograms MIBK. If you, don't, if you read and you don't understand, again, you are out of the game, right? You are out of this. You, are not, you cannot get the right answer. So please. Okay, and the, sec the second li uh, line two, in the end of the line two, the extract from the first stage is found to contain 27.5 weight percent acetone. So all, all percentage in the re reminders of these paragraphs are weight percent. So you know this all weight percent. So where do you, find, where do you put this 27.5 acetone? The extra from the first stage, right? Extra is here. From the first stage is what? We say is 27.5% acetone. So right down here. Okay? So the line four, the second stage, the beginning of line four, the second stage, roughly has a mass of 43.1 kilograms. And it contains 5.3% acetone. 1.6% MIBK and 93.1% water. So, you know the second stage in this slide, you understand that Rafane has 43.1 kilogram. So, you know that in a slightly slide, 43.1 kilograms here. And you know the percentage of these three components, which are 5.3, right, in the slide, 5.3, and 1.6, and 
right? So bingo, this line, this stream has all the information you got. There's no unknown in this stream. Okay? So you're happy. Right, so let's move to the line five. In the beginning of line five, the second stage extract contain 9% acetone, 88% MIBK, and 3% water. So we know the extract here, there's, they tell us three information. The first information is 9%, look at the slide, 9% acetone, and then 88% MIBK, and then 1.6 and 3% water. So this is all we got. And we don't have information about the total amount of the extract from the extracted number two. Okay, so this is unknown. So let's move to the um, line one, two, three, four, five, six. Line six, the overhead products from the distillation column contain 2% MIBK, 1% water, and a balanced acetone. So ask how many acetones here? 97%, right? Because you have 2% MIBK, 1% water. So distillation column, we know the distillation column here, and then MIBK balanced with acetone. So acetone will be here. So upper stream, we have 2% MIBK, 1% water, and 97% uh, acetone here. Okay. So let's move to the next paragraph. Taking a basis of calculation of 100 kilograms acetone water feed. So in the slide here, we already know this is the one can be a basis, right? In the slide, this one can be a basis. Okay, calculate the masses of and the composition of the stage one raffinate extract extract and the stage two extract the combined extract and the distillation overhaul overhead and button products. So, this is the questions. The this example asks us to answer. But anyway, if we got all the information we know here, and then let's now let's put the unknown in this slide, and we can get all the answers from the example which they asked us. Okay. Right. So this, please look at this slide, and then these are all the information we have got. And let's put the unknown now into this slide. So in this, the fifth stream, we have all the information, okay? And this one, we have all the information because it is pure MIBK. And this 75%, uh, this is all full information. So what we don't know here is that, let's put some unknowns here. So the extra, extractor one, the extract, which is M1, okay? M1 here, and then we know the, there are 27.5% acetone. So this is, which we don't know, X, M1, X, X sub M1, which is a fraction, represent MIBK, and then what's the next? One minus 0 0.275 minus X M1, right? So the reason I make, I put it here, not in red color is this is, if you, know this fraction, you will know this fraction. So this is not, we don't make it as a red color. Okay, this is only one unknown here. Okay. Right, so we got this, we have all the information in this stream. How about this stream? Or how about this stream? This stream we use, because there's no fraction, so let's use total amount. Uh, let's use the the amount of the acetone, amount of the MIBK, and the amount of the water. Okay. And then we have four information about this stream and four information about this stream. And then how about this one? <clears throat> this is total amount of M3. Okay. So you have all the information in this stream here. And how about this, the fifth stream to the distillation column? You have nothing. So you need to, again, you need to put the 
the the mass of the acetone, the mass of the water, and the mass of the MIBK. Okay, and next stream is this one. What you need is the total amount, the total mass of this uh, upper stream. The bottom stream, it, again, you have nothing, so you have the mass of the acetone, mass of the MIBK, and the mass of the water. So, this you put the, all the unknowns in this flow chart. And now the question is, do you have enough information to get all the unknowns in this flow chart? Or you just have partial information to get some of the unknowns. And you cannot get answer from some of the unknown. Okay? So please, Let's go for this. So how, again, we have nine steps. I hope you still remember we have nine steps to solve, to solve the problem. Solve this example. One is choose a basis. And you already know there's a basis, which is about 100 kilogram, right? And then you draw the flow chart. You put the nouns. You put all the information in this flow chart. You put the unknowns, which you don't know, uh, to this flow chart. And in this case, I, I mark it in red color. Of course, you don't mark it in red color when you have midterm exam, okay? And then now, let's do the DF, DFT, uh, sorry, let's do the DOF analysis. Okay? So, first of all, overall process. Please tell me how many input and how many output. Anybody tell me? You just... Play Kahoot, right? So you have three input and three output, right? So how many species you have? How many unknowns you have? Sorry, how many unknowns you have here in this process? There are four unknowns. This three input, there's no unknown. Three output, this has no unknown. This has one, this has three. So total, you have four unknowns in this overall system. So now it's time for you to find equations. If it, if you have four equations, you can solve the, this problem. You can get this. You can get these four unknowns. If you only have three, I'm sorry, you cannot. So how many equations you can have? So we have four directions to think. Four directions to think. To, to find out equations. The first direction is how many, how many species of, in this process? Three, right? Water, acetone, and MIBK. So you can have acetone input equal to acetone output. You can have water input equal to water output. You can have MIBK input equal to MIBK output. So you can, you can, create, you can create three equations. So this first direction, what's the second direction? Do you have specification, which is the, the, the text, the book, the, the question tell you some information related to these unknowns? Do you have? No, you don't. If you have, you need to write down somewhere around here. So there's no relationship between unknowns, knowns and unknowns. So there's no specification. So the second direction, zero. How about the third direction? Third direction is physical laws, right? Physical laws. Do you have physical laws here? Like density or like, um, you know, molecular weights, like um, dimensional equation or um, whatever. No. And you have physical constraints. No, you don't have physical constraints here. So there are four directions. Only direction one got three equations. So unfortunately, you only have three equations, and uh, it doesn't work if you do the overall process. So forget about the overall process. How about 
let's do let's do it systematically if we do it overall we cannot solve how about single unit system single unit system yeah extract extract oh, sorry extract the one how many input two input how many output two output how many unknowns in this system one two three four five six there are six unknowns obviously and there are four directions to find equations obviously you only have three equations because you have three spaces only there's no physical laws physical constraints and the specification okay so this one doesn't work so extractor one DOF five unknowns you only have three equations how about extractor two extractor two how many unknowns do you have you have four unknowns right you have four unknowns two input two output four unknowns again four directions to think of the equations once again unfortunately you only have three equations because three species only okay how about this one this is called mixing point mixing point how many how many input and how many output how many inputs input stream two input stream right this one and this one how many output stream one output stream how many unknowns one two three four five six there are six unknowns again only three equations water balance acetone it balance MIPK balance input equal to output right so how about this later this later here one input two output right how many unknowns here one two three four five six seven even worse right even worse unfortunately again you don't have equation you don't have enough equations to to get these seven unknowns so you try overall system and you try single unit system these are this doesn't work right so let's try the combination unit systems so combination unit systems let's try extract extractor one and extractor two can we sure we can so two extractors subsystems this one so I want to ask you how many input and how many output three input right and the three outputs how many unknowns here please tell me how many unknowns here this three input and any unknowns in the input no right there are three outputs right so this output has no unknown this output has one this output has well, how many one two so how many unknowns in this system three bingo you have three unknowns and you already know you can have three e equations which is input equal to output water input equal to output MIPK input equal to output and Aston input equal to output so you have three equations so ladies and gentlemen this is a very simple calculation I don't want to waste your time so please do this by yourself and what I want to tell you is you will get these three answers let me try to show you this again it was written in in red color right and now you solve this so you put it into become blue so you got these three answers already okay and now let's do two extractor and mixing point two extractor and mixing point two extractor and mixing point does anybody want to tell me how many input and how many output two extractor and one mixing point how many input and how many output three input and uh, two output right how many unknowns here three yes 
three unknowns. And you also, at least you have three questions. So input, water input equal to water output. MIBK input equal to MIBK output. Aceton input equal to aceton output. So you have three equations. So this one, we can change from red color to become blue color, right? Simple, easy. So now, we have extractor one and mixing point. Let's have extractor one and mixing point here. Extractor one and mixing point, sorry. Extractor and mixing, one, mixing point one here. How many input and how many output? Two input and two output. How many unknowns? It was six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. But luckily you solved the problem of this M A4, M4, and W4. So now how many unknowns you have? Only three. So you can do this. Three unknowns. And you have three equations. And you solve the problem. You, you got the answer of this M2, MA2, M, M2, and MW2. So in your midterm exam, I want you to show me DOF first. If you don't show me DOF, TA will deduct some points from your exam because you don't do DOF. Do DOF first and do the calculation. DOF first, calculation. Okay? Right, so do you, so do you have, is any way you can solve this problem? You can get these numbers. No, there's no way you can get this number because there are four unknowns. No matter how many systems here, how many subsystems, this single unit overall of subsystems, you always have four unknowns. There's no three unknowns. So you cannot solve this problem. However, if in your midterm exam, I give you some information related to M5 and A6, well, then that's called specification. So you can create one more equations related to M5 and MW6, for example, or MA6, for example. Okay? And in that case, you can have the answer of this for unknowns. Okay? So, um, so, Please do the calculation, and important thing is do it carefully, and don't get trouble to teaching the system, okay? Because you know we have eighty students teaching the system is very they they have to score you they have to make the mark very hard, so make it easier. So teaching the system will do will favor you, okay? Right. So. The example I just show you is very important. So um, I want you to go home and repeat, repeat, and repeat. Because I will show, I will give you the different numbers. Same question, but same question, but different. I give you the different numbers. Okay. Right. So next topic is four point five, recycle and bypass, recycle and bypass. We still have ten minutes, so please work with me. The important thing is that, you know, this is the example we ju I just show you. You have a mixture and then you have 100, 175. And you put this in and now you get three streams. One is water stream, right? So water stream, if you know, you only you have mostly water and about 5% acetone and 1%, 1.6% MIBK, properties can release to the water, for example to the river. And then you have products, which is acetone. You can use for another purpose, 
as a solvent. But you might, but this is the purity is about ninety seven percent, which is good enough. And then you will have MIBK mainly. So what happened to MIBK? As an engineering, as an engineer, it's important to recycle these MIBK streams. Why? Because you can use it. You might ask, you might tell me, "Wow, oh, professor, MIBK is not pure. It doesn't matter, right? Because this is for extraction, so it doesn't need to be hundred percent pure MIBK to fit into this extractor one or extractor two, right? So MIBK can be recycled and to be used, and which is save energy and save money, right? Okay, so this is what we call recycle." It's not, you know, paper recycle or, you know, water recycle. This is the product. This is MIBK recycle. So recycle, normally, how do you write recycle stream? So this, is, for example, this reactor, it's rare that a chemical reaction A to B persists to a completion in a reaction. Normally, A to B, it might take one day to complete the reaction. But you don't have time to wait for one day. You only have... 10 minutes to you only have 10 minutes to wait and 10 minutes the conversion rate is 80 percent so you want to wait one one day or you want to wait 10 minutes of course you wait 10 minutes only and what happened to that another 20 percent recycle right recycle but what you need is you have a and b you just work for 10 minutes for example and you have a separator and you separate A and B, and you put A back to this, you have got a product which is B, and you got A, 20% A, and then fit it back to the, re the reactor. So you lose nothing, you save energy, you save money. Okay? So this is what the, the meaning of recycle. Another example. So this is what we call recycle stream. In, a, in this course, what we, under, we need to understand is, is this is what we call recycle stream. This is input stream, right? This is output stream. So recycle back A to the reactor. At least we have very good pay for separation. You need to pay for this. Separation and recycle equipment. However, it might be cheaper for the react to, to build another reactor, to, to build a very big reactor, or to wait for one day instead of 10 minutes. So purge less fresh reactants, right? You have A fit into the recycle stream and being able to sell the pure the purified products as a, a higher price. So it, it, it's kind of a trade-off. How expensive is this separator? If this is very cheap, of course you use the separator. Right? Okay, so in that case, this is this is recycle stream and we have a joint point here. So this can regard as a kind of a mixer or this kind of a joint point, which is a, a, a unit system, a single unit system. Okay, so you need to take this into account to know that when you do the mass balance, this is one system or one unit system. Okay, and then this is another two this is this another one, this is another one. Of course, you have two unit systems like this, right? And two unit systems like this. Can you have a unit system like this? Yes, you can. Do as you like. But, okay. So, mesh system, right? Okay. So um, do we have time? So this is the figure 4.5 dash one recycle. I think I don't want to read this to, for you. I just want to show you the reason that this is reactor. This is one of the example A to B. You have A 200 kilograms. And after reactor, the conversion, A convert to B, which is from one, uh, 200 convert to become 100. And you have a separator, which you got Hundred percent, uh, one kilo, one hundred kilogram B, and ten kilograms A, 
and you have separator 90 kilograms A and 30 kilograms B, and we recycle it back. So why it was 200? Because when you have fresh feet, you only have 11, uh, you only have 110 kilograms A. And then because of the combination of this feed stream and recycle stream, this one together with this one become this one. Okay. Right, I think uh, I run out of my time. I don't have time for you to do the example 4.5-1. Um, this is... Anyway, that's it. So, um, I hope you enjoy the lecture today. Um, so, next Wednesday will be the meeting exam for you. And so, please, you have one week to to do the exercise. Again, I don't want to fail you. Be honest, I hate to fail, to fail you. But when I, see your, when I see your exam paper and it's a mess, I cannot, I cannot convince myself to pass you. So please, have this week, concentrate on this, and show me what you can do, okay? So good luck for you next week. See you next week.